But it's not every day that y'all see a week in my life vlog start at midnight on Monday. As in, it's basically Tuesday. gonna get mad setting my alarm for 6 15. i had a lot of assignments due tonight and i just drove home from Dallas from the taylor swift concert last night so i was up all night doing that and i totally meant to start this vlog earlier but it just didn't happen so welcome to a week of my life test at nine. I've been studying basically all morning and feel pretty good about it. And then after that, I have registration at 1030. Also feel good about that. The fact that I'm registering for senior year, I can't even think about it. But the good thing is registration goes by like how close you are to graduation. So like freshman year, you get like honestly the worst picks of classes and it doesn't matter that much because there's not like like you're just taking a bunch of gen ed but like you're like the last one to register but i think yesterday was the first day to register and i'm registering this morning so like freshman year i would have a ton of backups just because like classes fill up so fast but i stopped doing backups and i hope hopefully that doesn't like backfire on me today i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna get all the classes i want because they're like upper division they're for my major so they're like reserved for me but i am literally so close to graduating it's crazy i could probably graduate like if i really wanted to i could graduate early but i don't want to so registering for classes at 10 30 and then i have a meeting with like a financial advisor at 11 and then i my internship so busy morning but i'm feeling good i'm ready for this test to be over i've just had my ipad open and i've been like reviewing my notes and there isn't a ton on the study guide so hopefully it will be easy i will see y'all after my test after my like three obligations this morning starting to rain ah good and now it's registration which i'm honestly even more nervous for <laughs> how it works is uh you basically just like copy and paste the code for it i have like a google doc of all the codes the class code it's like the unique code is what it's called as soon as it hits 10 30 i am going to copy and paste as fast as i ever have in my life and it's gonna go good and i'm gonna get all the classes i want it literally takes like one minute but i have been sitting here for the past 40 minutes just sitting here, just waiting. I literally, I have the hiccups because I'm nervous. It's <laughs> <laughs> the longest minute ever. I know. Oh. Oh. Shut up, I have a bar. Confirm. I told you to do it. I thought I did it, I said I did it. Oh no. It's okay, you got no, this. I Wait, I think you just pressed the confirm button oh, yeah. at the bottom. I love this for me. <laughs> I just had I to scroll down and like hit a, uh, or check a box and then hit submit oh i confirm see i didn't <sighs> okay fine 
it's really all of mine. Yeah. Oh my god. All that anticipation. I know, we're literally like less than a minute. Well, the hiccups are gone. I know. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> Yay! Guys, I have the best little treat for finishing my test this morning and class registration. This video is sponsored by FabFitFun. This is my second box I've gotten from them, and I could not be more excited. So let's unbox this thing. This is their summer box. It's always so cute. Before I unbox it, they did give me a code. It's Audrey20, and you can get 20% off your first box, which makes it $47.99, which is such a good deal because everything in here is worth way more than $47.99, and it's completely customizable, so it's not like you're just getting stuff that you're, like, like half the box you really want, but the other half you don't really want. Like, they give you a few items to choose from, so based on if you want, like, beauty, health, fashion, home decor, any like stuff that you want to prioritize and like that fits your personality. Guys, this is literally so cute. <gasps> first off, the first thing that's catching my eyes is Olaplex. This is the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. Moisturizes, smooths, adds body and shine. You leave it on for 10 minutes rinse and fully style as usual adds shine and body while providing intense moisture to treat damaged hair i love it i'm so excited this Elemis superfood midnight facial i think this is a really expensive brand okay yeah this is 54 dollars so already this thing is worth more than what you'd pay for this box if you use my code. Ooh. Apply to cleansed, dry skin every night or a minimum of twice weekly as a spoiling skin treat. Okay, I'm actually so excited. Nice skincare is just so worth it and it's even better when, when you get a discount. This smells like Starburst? Oh my gosh, this smells so good. So I think it's like basically a night cream. Guys, I am so excited for this. $54. This is going to make my skin look so good. I just know it, and it smells so good. I'm so excited to use that. Next, I think they're sunglasses. Ooh. <gasps> These are cute. Oh my gosh. Wow. These are so fun. Perfect for summer. I love a good mirrored glass, and they're pink. So cute. Okay, the brand is called Dime. The Laneige Water Bank Pure Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. I love Laneige. I love their like little lip masks. And their packaging is adorable. So it uses blue hyaluronic acid. Ooh, which is high efficiency, low molecular hyaluronic acid fermented with clean deep sea algae. Okay, like I'm actually so excited to try this. Okay, this is also just been sitting here and I can't wait to open it up because I have wanted one of these from nine west yes <laughs> okay it's one of those like travel folding toiletry bags i have always wanted one of these and this pattern is so cute and fun it has some good pockets this is perfect i'm actually traveling a ton of places this summer so this is gonna be so perfect i'm obsessed like i love this next we have another Ooh, another hair product. Briogeo Superfoods Soft Wave Texture Spray. It's for beach waves, which I love. I feel like this was so trendy when I was younger to put like the salt water spray and stuff, but I bet this smells way better because it's banana and coconut, but it's just gonna smell like the beach. I'm really excited to use this. Oh, I missed this with the Laneige thing. It came with the little spatula. That is so fancy and so fun. That's it from my summer box. It was a really good one. Thank you to FabFitFun for sponsoring this video. Again, y'all can use code Audrey20 for 20% off your first order. So that makes it out to be $47.99 and the summer box is valued up to $300. Thank you, FabFitFun. I'm gonna get ready for my internship. I've had a busy morning already, but I'll see y'all in a sec. Okay, here is a little internship OOTD. I love this top, but I'm so sorry. It is from Marshalls, so I won't be able to share that link with y'all. My bag, I ordered sweet green to pick up on the way. Pants are from Aritzia, and then I have many Vejas. The little pearl necklace. I didn't put any makeup because I'm an eye sty right now, which I've been getting all the time, which is so weird. Grab my stuff. 
Henley. I recently lost my hydro flask and I don't want to talk about it. Like, I'm so upset. Anyways, going to my internship. Love y'all. It is so late, but I wanted to update y'all. It's 1.45 a.m. Usually, like, don't stay out that late, but I also didn't vlog. I'm just gonna do a quick little recap before I go to sleep. Me and my big Sophie went to a restaurant for my grand big's birthday claire and then after that we went to our little like org meeting which was at a bar downtown and they had like a live band which was fun it was really hot so we didn't stay too long then we were gonna go home and sophie was like i think i'm gonna watch a rom-com tonight i'm gonna watch she saw that and i was like oh my gosh i've never watched that and so i went back to her apartment and we watched it and so that's why I'm home so late, so I'm gonna go to sleep now. I was originally gonna work out tomorrow morning, but I usually wake up at 6 to do that, and I'm not gonna give myself four hours of sleep, so I've got to 9.30, and I'm probably just gonna sleep in. Hello, back in the same spot, but it's Thursday afternoon. I can't remember if I vlogged this morning. I don't think I did. Basically, I slept in till 8.45, which was good. I didn't, like, drink that much last night, so it's not like I was hungover or anything. I probably had like two drinks, but I was just up really late and that's what got me. Um, but I slept in. It has been raining all day. I went to two classes. Um, I just got back from lunch with my friend Lauren and I'm about to hang out with Sam. So in between I'm going to clean because my apartment is actually such a mess. Um, like such a mess. And I just cleaned our kitchen. He was doing laundry. That's what you can hear too. I also desperately desperately need to do laundry this weekend's easter weekend so tomorrow i'm going to houston to visit anna and her family so i need to get my life together before then let's do a little cleaning little montage so sick of having to wait your turn to have to speak i look at you and know there's something underneath i call you up but you can't be found you can't be found I actually don't know what it is about this week, but I'm going to bed so much later than I usually do. There's also like a huge thunderstorm outside. It's literally 2 a.m. And I just finished editing my Taylor Swift Airs tour video because honestly, this time was the only time I had to do it. I, this week has been so crazy and I wanted to work out so bad tomorrow. I haven't worked out in like over a week, but now I don't know if I have time because I'm gonna leave for Houston I'm like 9 or 10. I don't know. But I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. And maybe we'll work out. I mean, I guess I'll like try to wake up. I don't know. I haven't packed for my trip either. basically like last week this location it's like their 10 year anniversary or something so they did this cool thing where if you ordered it on that day they had receipt day you can come back and get your whole order for free again and so that day i went for breakfast so i'm going to cash in my breakfast hopefully they let me because i wasn't really supposed to go to breakfast in the first place but they still gave me the thing i don't know but i'm running a little bit behind schedule but i needed i needed to post my video I did yesterday and like my Instagram posts and stuff so I did that this morning I went and walked on the treadmill while I edited that um which I honestly should do more often and I think I'm going to do more often because like all of a sudden I looked up and I was walking for 40 minutes and usually I just sit on my couch and do that for like 40 minutes it takes me a while to upload an Instagram post so yeah that was good and I didn't really want to do like a crazy workout because I was tired. My goal is to now leave at 11. I still don't have anything packed but after I get this basically I just need to go home, blow dry my hair, <laughs> pack, and then we'll hit the road for Houston. 
Hi. I have receipt day. Sure. Let me try to put it in real quick. Okay. Breakfast is almost over. Okay. It, Thank you. Like, it's over at uh, 10 30, right? Yeah. Alright, you're all set. Yay, thank you. That was so funny. She was like doing it as fast as she could before the clock struck 10 30. Saving the iPad wasn't going to let her do it. I don't know. But yay, I'm so excited. Ah! Okay, it's 11, almost 11 15, so I'm a little behind schedule. I'm bringing this bag this bag and then my clothes. I am the queen of overpacking, so that's happening. And also if you watched my last video, last week and I wore the same sweatshirt, I did wash it, but this is just like my road trip sweatshirt. For Mad Happy, it's like super thick and nice. And it's about a three hour drive, hopefully, to Houston. Hopefully not any longer than that, I'm not really sure. Okay, I've arrived in Katy, Houston. I'm at Anna's house. It's so weird, I used to live here, like eighth grade, um, so it always feels so weird. But we're going to like a horse show and I didn't pack any of the right clothes because it's like gloomy and rainy and I brought like dresses. So barring on his sweater, I'm wearing my white boots even though they're gonna get absolutely trashed because it's so muddy, but whatever. sitting at this like gorgeous little vanity that Brooklyn has. So thought I'd catch you up while I get ready for brunch. There's also like no mirror over here. So it's gonna be interesting. I guess I'll use my camera. So basically I haven't really talked about this a lot in a while, but I used to live in Texas. Like obviously I live in Texas now because of college, but I'm from California. Like my family's in California, but I moved to California in eighth grade. So up until then i lived here in like west houston i still have like a ton of family friends here and it's easter weekend and everyone goes home <laughs> on easter because also ut is like 90 percent in-state students so past two years easter has always been like super sad because everyone goes home and it's just not realistic to go home for weekend like in the midst of finals and stuff so i just stay home but now that i have a car i'm able to drive down here this morning i went to coffee with Haley and michael who are like my longtime childhood friends too and we went and did like a little bible study together and just caught up and it was so special i love them so much and it's just been like a great like honestly being here it just feels like i I'm home. So it's Saturday and we have brunch reservations. Sounds like a cool place. It's like kind of like charcuterie board vibes. Like we just show up and it's there. So I'll show y'all that. Later tonight, we're going to the Legally Blonde musical, which I'm so excited for. Anna's friend, like last minute, had extra tickets. So I, <laughs> I'm like, I love Legally Blonde. I've never seen it, but I was in it in seventh grade when i lived here for my school we did like a legally blonde musical and i was the ups driver and ever since then i have absolutely loved the soundtrack so i'm so excited to see it i've watched the musical video on youtube so many times and i'm like i am just so excited we found out last night that we're going and then tomorrow's easter so we'll go to church and do like a little breakfast brunch here and then i'll drive back to austin so it's definitely a good little break i also just can't really describe the feeling of being back in a place that i grew up in after you move like i feel like it's such a unique feeling obviously i don't really consider this home anymore like california is definitely like what i consider home but i lived here for like 13 years of my life it's just like kind of like a nostalgic feeling seeing everything that's like so familiar and like driving around and stuff and it always feels so weird coming back here and i haven't really been able to come back a ton but now that i have a car it's a lot easier for me to come so yeah that's why i'm in houston and that's the little life update and if you didn't know i used to live in texas and i was born in texas and now i still live in texas but yeah literally found a mirror just like over there when you're not here the sun don't shine when you're not near i don't feel like i do when you're with me felt like suddenly our souls collided hearts in 
intertwined When I decided to make you mine I'm never going 